approximately 16 more people that like to testify. Although we were originally going to end this at 6.30, we'll continue on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Down. 
since around 2002. So the last part of my testimony is aimed at that. We are all here today because there is a nefarious contingent of morally and financially corrupt villains that I refer to as Dowling and Fiends. <laughs> Everett Dowling is a well-connected and influential ex-UH region and a very wealthy owner and developer of Maui properties, mainly in McKenna, who just happens to have an intense dislike to the free speech access of Akaku. Dowling first appeared on the peg access scene in mid-2002 when he met with then Akaku CEO Sean McLaughlin and informed McLaughlin that he would shut down Akaku if he could because Akaku was airing some anti-McKenna development programs that he disapproved of. Dowling stated that if McLaughlin wanted his financial support, he would have to pull the programs. McLaughlin refused, the meeting was over, and the battle had begun. I'm going to summarize a timeline of some of the events that have occurred since that meeting. Dowling's assault on Akaku has been ongoing for over six years and is still going on today. That's why we're in this room. It would take me at least an hour to itemize each and every incident that took place. There was an anti-development Save McKenna video contest that aired on Akaku in 2004 that displeased Mr. Dowling and his contractor buddy, Charlie Jennings. In November 2004, out of the clear blue, UH MCC Chancellor Clyde Sakamoto entered the fray by claiming that Akaku owned MCC $100,000 at the minimum. Remember, Dowling was an ex-UH region. Dow January of 2005, Dowling was placed on the Akaku Finance Committee without board's knowledge and stated that Akaku needed to cut back on its services and threaten legal actions against Akaku. Akaku board approved an attempt to purchase the Akaku studio building that they now own. Meanwhile, behind the scenes, Dowling arranged for SB 959 and HB 748 to be introduced to the state legislature and designed to reduce Akaku annual funding by two-thirds while still on the Akaku Finance Committee. Conflict of interest. In February 2005, Dowling, Sakamoto, and James all threatened lawsuits that Mr. Laughlin was not fired. Dowling continued his attempts to divert Akaku funds that were set aside for the purchase of the building and tried to divert them to MCC and DOT in an attempt to stop the purchase of the building. In March and April of 2005, things got really nasty and the Akaku board split into two factions, one side pro-Dowling and the other side anti-Dowling. The board voted to remove Dowling from the Finance Committee. CEO McLaughlin, the Akaku staff, the Finance Committee members, DCCA, MCC, and DOE members, Dowling, Sakamoto, James, and others continued to battle for the control of Akaku. This continued on an almost daily basis and climax in November 2005 when the DCCA director, Reckonwell, appointed Dowling's pal, Charlie James, to the board of Akaku. Minutes after being appointed to the board, which stacked the board in the anti-Dowling faction, they fired Sean McLaughlin. Jennings appeared, uh, attended a few more meetings and then quit, walked away. The only reason he was there was to fire Sean. Many more events occurred, but ultimately all the remaining pro-Dowling faction members quit and walked away. Akaku has since regrouped and is once again a vibrant and vibrant community access television station. The battle for control of Maui's community television continues today. Obviously, I feel we wouldn't be here today if Dowling had decided to abandon his assault on Akaku. And instead, like the Wizard of Oz is saying, pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. <laughs> 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 justified his goal to take over and censor Akaku. Dowling started funding a business in Paia called Maui Media Lab, headed by the aforementioned Sam Epstein, who claims his school of media, arts, and science to be the home of Hawaii's most watched digital television, which is a crock. In <laughs> summary, Dowling seems to be counting on his insider connections at the AG's office, the DCCA and CATV, and the State Procurement Office to approve and initiate the RFP process so he can bid on and assume control of Akaku.